lot of people do not like images of women that are powerful up on walls. They'll deface them pretty quick. People love to put shit on their face. Horns, mustaches, uh, but that's cool, I got more. I keep coming out and I keep pacing up because I think these things still need to be said. We still need to celebrate strong women in positions of power that aren't celebrated because they're not traditionally beautiful. And we still need to tell people to smash the patriarchy and we still need to tell people to shame racists. And that's why I keep coming out and putting things out. And also, it's fun. It is Sunday morning, about 6.25 a.m., 45 degrees outside. We are near the Bowery because I want to paste on the Bowery wall. Uh, Houston Street gets an awful lot of traffic and I want some big, amazing women seen. So I'm going to put up some four foot illustrations of RBG, AOC, Maxine Waters, Harriet Tubman. My name is Captain Eyeliner. I'm a New York street artist. It's when Me Too kind of came out. I wanted to make something to encourage women. I wanted to, I wanted to do something. So I started making stickers that said smash the patriarchy and putting them anywhere. Just in case somebody walked by and needed to see it. And then I think maybe stickers aren't enough. And so I start printing out paper because stickers are small, they're easy to remove. And I start printing out paper and I do a couple and I just kept going. For a long time, if I saw a female represented on the streets, it was because she was really beautiful. It was Marilyn Monroe or Amy Winehouse, and it was one very specific kind of beauty. And there are so many other kinds of beauties and there's so many other ways to celebrate women and things to celebrate women for. So I started doing a series of women that I thought should be celebrated beyond the physical. I just want these women to be seen. And I'm doing them so big so they can be seen. So these are some of my old Harriet Tubman 20s. I started putting those up when they announced that Harriet wasn't gonna be on the $20 bill. I really didn't like the idea of her being erased. <clears throat> I'm an armchair historian, like I love history and I think Harriet Tubman is just amazing. She was so selfless and I couldn't stand the thought that Harriet Tubman wasn't going to be on the 20. So I made my own $20 bills, not for counterfeiting purposes, but to have her represented, hopefully keep her in the conversation. Most of what we see of her She's an old lady, she looks pretty frail, but the Harriet Tubman that fought for the Union Army, the Harriet Tubman that led people north to their freedom was a young woman. She was in her 30s and 40s. So that's why we see a young Harriet here. I have uh, a lot more ladies in mind and I'll blow them up at least this big. I'd love to figure out how to go 20 feet high. The bigger, the better. Uh, we have a lot of history to make up for.